All right. How's it going? It's at the end of a Gen Con online. Um, it's good. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent experience. Um, did a lot of activities. A um, lot of activities. A lot of games. Uh, and uh, a couple seminars. I even hosted a game, which was a great experience. I hosted a game last year, too, um, for that Gen Con online. And that was a really fun experience, too. It's actually been a few years since I've been to a physical Gen Con. Uh, just too many things that uh, don't allow me to get there. So having this as an opportunity to participate and to actually get the opportunity to really enjoy playing some of these games, some of these games that I would never, ever encounter um, in a non-con type uh, of environment. Something like the uh, um, Masterminds, the uh, Marvel and DC game that I played, or getting exposure to some of the Wild West uh, games that I played in, uh, just some of the different rule sets, some of the different mechanics. Uh, it was all very interesting. A couple seminars that I listened to uh, were also very interesting. Uh, and really, it's an interesting experience running a game um, for something like this. It's uh, You don't want to create a bad uh, experience, but at the same time, you're kind of at the whim of of uh, things outside of your control, such as um, during at the very beginning of my um, game that I ran, for example, I always had a headset issue, and I, which I had to work through, uh, and we ended up um, just kind of switching over and doing some other stuff there. Got the game ran. I think everybody enjoyed themselves. Uh, it maybe it wasn't the best experience because of that opening headset, uh, but I. I really hope that uh, overall that it was a good experience for the uh, players. I know I had a lot of fun doing it. I had a lot of fun in the games that I played in. Um, there was a couple of games where, you know, people were struggled. Absolutely. The people running the games were struggling a little bit, but that's kind of to be expected on anything that's uh, ran online like this. And it, it happens in person, too. You realize that you forgot something. Or you realize that, you know, something in the venue isn't great. Uh, like in a regular con, tables are usually extremely close together. So it's it's oftentimes difficult to hear, especially if you have a hearing um, deficit like I do. Uh, it's oftentimes really difficult to hear what the game master is, or some of the other players are saying. And that's a definite advantage to doing it online because in a Discord channel, or even on Roll20 or anything else, you can you know kind of tweak your settings. You can turn the volume up on your speakers. You can use headset. You can use earphones. You know whatever you need to do to actually make it so you can actually hear and understand and uh, really fully participate and enjoy what you're what what you're doing. At least in my experience. Um, obviously everyone's experience is different. I'm sure some people did the online and would never do it again. Um, I'm sure some people did the online like me loved it. Um, there are definitely some aspects of the con that I missed out on. I missed out on the big crowds. I missed out, of course, on the on the vendor floor, which is uh, always interesting to see some of the new products and, and things that are out there. Um, some of the things that other things that happen, I I don't usually participate in any way, like. Uh, going out for a big dance or after show type stuff. I'm not there to do that kind of thing. And I don't usually care about those kind of uh, activities that are happening. So I don't miss those at all. I would rather use that time playing another game or something like that. I just, um, uh, those kinds of other activities like that, uh, or maybe even attending a seminar would be, a, I, I think, a much more enjoyable thing for me to do. So. Yeah, overall, it was a great experience. As you can see, I played, uh, I've been kind of flipping through some of the stuff that I did. Uh, I played in uh, Call of Cthulhu. I played in the Call of Cthulhu Wild West, Down Darker Trails, and I actually ordered the book from the, as soon as I was done playing it, I was on the Chaosium website ordering the, uh, ordering the Down Darker Trails book. I, I really enjoyed that game. That might have been the most fun one that I played in. I played in a first edition Advanced Dungeons & Dragons game, uh, which was a lot of fun just to get to actually experience that and uh, 
and to uh, um, play in that game. As uh, some of the um, of my viewers know, I have been running a first edition Advanced Dungeons and Dragons game. Um, so as I, but it was really fun to do it as a player to to actually get to actually experience it as a player and to run through that. So that was great. I really really enjoyed doing that. Uh, some of the other things that I did, uh, like I said, was with, with the seminars. Um, listened to a couple of great seminars. There were some other ones that I was considering doing, but then some games came up, and I was able to jump in those instead. Uh, I, and that's another great thing about the con, too, is, for example, one of my games got canceled, like, minutes before the game w- would have ran, half an hour or something like that. Instead of just having nothing to do, I just uh, hopped into the to the uh, um, online ticket lookup, uh, found another one to get into, and without leaving my chair, was able to get into that on on uh, like to get into another game that I was interested in, and just play it. Um, and it was a uh, great game. I played. Pl- we played for like six hours. It was the uh, it was the masterminds the game the one with all of the dc and marvel um, comic people which was great i mean i'm not a super huge uh comic book uh, fan but i do enjoy them and it was certainly enjoyable to play the uh to play in that particular game there at the last possible minute so and that's the kind of thing that you cannot do especially at a con like gen con you're not going to simply get into a game and have, you know, just a few minutes to get to it and get it all set up, find it, walk, you know, what feels like miles to get to it and then be ready to play fresh for hours and hours and hours. So that was a great experience. Absolutely. Um, and then, and, and a great opportunity. So, yeah, I really truly hope that, uh, Gen Con brings back the online, uh, for next year. I really liked it last year, and I really enjoyed it this year. Um, there are definitely some things that they could do to tweak it, of course, to make it better for both them and uh, for those running games and for those playing games, of course. Uh, there could always be things done. There could be things to, to bring the vendor floor more into the online um, uh, realm. Uh, one of the things that they did last year that they did not do this year was some of their uh, um, re, uh, TV, uh, the Twitch TV thing that they were doing last year, some of the content that they were doing, I thought was actually better last year. And because a lot of it, I think, was more of a greatest hits type thing, so they were able to better act, you know, select what they were going to show. But that was something that I think that uh, was more enjoyable on last year's, but it was definitely had some great, great content this year's. And you really have still had that feeling like you were there. I managed to get some swag off of the uh, Rollercrit uh, website, so I got a couple things from there. They're in the mail. Like I said, I bought the book. So it's not like I didn't uh, spend some money on the on the con. I just uh, didn't have to deal with the long lines, the um, hotels, the driving around, the all of the uh, all the really negative things about going to a live convention like uh, like Gen Con without with uh, um, lots and lots of people uh, is you just don't have to worry about that, uh, which is great for me. So, like I said, I really hope they bring it back. Um, it was a very positive experience, and um, thanks for watching here at the uh, uh, at the end here of this uh, of this uh, experience. So, thanks. Bye.